Hey, welcome to our new tutorial. Uh, today we'll be opening Brex bank account. It's again, just like Mercury, one of the bank accounts that accepts the most applicants online. So step by step, I'll be going through everything that you need to be, you know, putting on. So after you, you know, hit the link that uh, we have pretty much, um, it's going to be put you on a, the sign up page, the basic information, you put your name and surname. And here it will be better if you uh, have the email that is like business email that has the your your domain at the end instead of like the gmail or any other like email provider it will be better for them so after you're providing your email uh pretty much if you got any uh, referral code you can put it so it's going to ask you a couple questions if it's going to ask you if your company is ready uh, in this case i assume that you have because Otherwise, like you can apply with them. You only can apply with your US business. If you have a DBA, you put the name of the DBA. If you don't know what the DBA is like doing businesses. So uh, you have your company. Let's say uh, I gave this example before. The company is like Coca-Cola Corporation, but the brand Sprite. Yeah. So if you have, let's say like your business name is something else, but you have a different brand and you have a DBA that you get from that particular state, it's plus, please use it. If you don't, just put your company name. While putting the company name, make sure you put the extension, like if it's finishing with LLC, write it LLC as if it's written on your uh, certificate of formation, company formation documents, or if it's like INC dot, you can write like INC dot. The way that it's written on your company document is the way that you should have to be providing to them. And here uh, you pick the what type of niche that your business is in. Whatever you're doing, you can pretty much like, you know, write it on and see the one that is closest, the most related comes up. You can pick that one. If you're doing like e-commerce, you can put e-commerce. If you have a tech company, you can write tech company, life sciences, other, like whatever it is, you can put it as there. In here, in this part, uh, simply you can say if you're, if you have any other investors that are, uh, you know, supporting your business, you can add, say that like it's supported via the angel investor, VC, whatever it is. Or if you're like bootstrapping, you can pick the self-funded. Uh, in this case, like it's self-funded. And like if you have a small team, you can pick the the number one to four. Don't overwrite things that you don't actually have. Uh, so for this case, like they have over 20 employees. And here they kind of like want to know and hear about your monthly uh, revenue. If you have... The good numbers pick them otherwise don't uh, but if you have something that is close you can still pick it like kind of like it can be your goal your expenses like how much you're spending in a month pretty much like uh, pick that one as well you might be thinking oh maybe uh it will be better if they see like i'm profitable and stuff honestly they for them it will help more if you spend more because they assume that you may do spendings through the card that they're going to give it to you which is based on the way that they run their business like the fees that they have on that visa or master mastercard that you will get so if there's the money that is spent you can pick it and here uh you need to put your website on your website the most important thing that you should be doing on your bottom footer you have to have your us company name you have to have your uh us address us phone number all of this tree has to be written if you have any other company name take it off and it's better if you have an about us page that has your name the name of the applicant and the name of the us company and if you can storize this about us page it will be like great we will have examples written in the description that you can kind of see and you can kind of like adjust or uh, you know get inspired from the examples that we have and after you put the company website it's going to take you to this page okay so uh they got three options the last one is like the both of them combined that's the one that we're picking pretty much and we want to take advantage of like everything that they have and they're providing your uh banking online banking is going to be used all right so in this part uh we write down the company name again just like with the ex extension uh and here you're going to be putting the the business address this has to be us address if you don't have your own us address 
make sure you're putting the registered agent address. If you don't know your registered agent address, you can check your company formation documents. It's going to be written there, or you can search for your company in the website of the state of the, like wherever your company is formed. It's also going to be uh, written in the uh, registered agent information, the address of the registered agent. So it's totally okay to use it. That is your US address. Okay, so in this part, you're going to be putting your EIN number, which is the tax identification number of your company. I will just show it to you. So pretty much just like here, it has to be in this format. And whatever your business type, if it's a C corporation, you put pick C corporation. If it's an LLC, you pick LLC. The date of your incorporation matters a lot. So for this example, I'll be just looking real quick. Okay, so make sure the incorporation year is matching with your again company document like you writing accurately so when it comes to describing so when it comes to this uh, giving a description of your products and customers here um, please like even if you're selling let's say like you're going to be a dropshipper you're going to be selling let's say a niche product for housewives like or mothers or for babies try to say like a bit you know like add some spice on it say that like we are online retail of um you know technology products for babies if it's related to technology or like products for babies that's helping them to uh, integrate with this or like you know play you know uh, educate something like whatever you can put don't like the the better like the nicer that you put the answers here is going to matter more for you so make sure you're writing everything very detailed and as nice as you can so here unless you have any other things like if you're gonna be like paying to your clients, you can pick the payroll. And if you have like the most of the business operations, you'll be paying, you'll be receiving payments here. Uh, you can pick this. And if you will go for funding and everything, you can pick them as well. For this example, the client's gonna be paying to their uh, US employees and uh, the warehouse that they have, but not the other options. But if you have, you can add them. And the monthly transaction, again, don't like exaggerate this crazy. Uh, but if you have potentially doing the numbers that you pick, please pick that. So for this example, they're going to be using cards. They may potentially check, receive checks as well. So I'll pick that as well. If they, if you're going to be doing a trans, uh, the wire transfers, yeah, you can uh, pick, like if you're going to be sending money to yourself, to your supplier, you can pick the wires here for uh, ACH. You can pick the, the whatever country that applies to you. Here, uh, our client have manufacturers in both China and Turkey and also potentially in India. So, uh, and also like one of the countries, their home country, they'll be sending money for themselves as well. So you can pick the countries that uh, you'll be, you know, doing transactions for your business and sending money. So in this question, it, if it asks you if you're the majority owner of, like, if you own more than 25% of the business, that's the only case that you can apply with your own uh, personal information and whatever, your role is whatever you are for the business you pick that one in this case they're the founder we applying on behalf of the founder the phone number make sure you're putting a us phone number uh because if you put your own kind of like your operations business operations for your us entity uh has to be not has to be it's better to be based in the us for a lot of reasons that we can explain so if you don't have a us phone number i would recommend you to getting one for sure so the date of birth i just uh check our applicant's date of birth and put wherever you're from so if you don't have a sin you pick this one or if your item is ready you can put your item here as well because item is going to be pretty much the same digit uh, but for this example uh, he doesn't have his item ready yet you don't have to wait for your item in order to apply this uh, brace bank account you can if you'll have but uh, you can do the both, which would not make much difference. Yes, and when it comes to the home country address, uh, you need to put the address of where you live. So I'll put in for this example again. All right, so when you're the business owner, you put one more time, whoever doing the application. Okay, so in this part, when you hit no, it's going to continue because for this example, um, he is the 100% owner. Uh, if you have a 
bank account you can connect but like the main reason that we're here is the opening a bank account so uh we skip this step uh, right now okay here if you have your own banking in your own country for your business activities you can put the bank statements uh, or you can again skip it as well which would work okay so let's move on to the identity identity verification it's gonna um, ask you what country are you from you pick your country and whatever you uh, the like document that you want to verify with uh, here our example was passport we're gonna be putting passport if you take a picture of your original passport here it's a better button because it means that like it's authentic from the computer but if you're doing it from the US VPS you're not gonna be able to take a picture so um, it's better to you know just upload the passport and make sure the four corners of your passport are visible everything is readable with the white background then um, pretty much like from there uh, it's going to take in some day of some of their time to you know confirm okay so let's check some of the terms and conditions uh, for the applications mostly answers are no but if any case any of your answers are yes you can choose like if you're a registered brokerage firm securities exchange or investment advisor investment company uh anything related to this you can pick uh yes sorry for us is no so if it, like any of the shareholder like have 10 percent of the shareholder of public company if any of your like let's say advisor or business you know investor can have like 10 percent of a public trade company they want to know about it so it's uh, low chances if you're just like trying to get an online banking that i assume that you would not are you going to be using a uh, base cash account to all the friends on behalf of anyone else no it's going to be you're going to be using for yourself not for anyone else or any other issues uh, not for your customers or it's totally for your business so we just uh confirm uh the terms and everything and we hit the the submit button and then it's going to ask us to you know do a verification uh through the link that you will get to your email and then they will be uh, reviewing your application and hopefully accepting so you can start using your um, price bank account pretty much that was it again please check the notes that we have in the description and do follow up if you do follow up everything that we're showing here you most likely will get your account open but at the same time always feel free to go to their terms and conditions to see um their you know like type of businesses they accept type of businesses they don't accept and everything and uh, pretty much that was it. Hoping that it will help you to start using your Brex bank account.